Today we're going to be building $1,000 PCs. I'm here with Christina, aka PG Tech today. We're also going to be doing a giveaway of both of these PCs, so stay tuned to see how to enter. All right, the parts that I chose for my PC, CPU, we got the Intel 12400F, pairing with the ASRock B660M ITX motherboard because we're going with a beautiful white Cooler Master NR200P ITX case. And then for the GPU, we've got the MSI Aventus GeForce RTX 3060, Corsair RAM, of course, with the RGBs, and Crucial 500 gigabyte SSD. Finally, we have the SP750 from Lianli um, to fit in this tiny, tiny case. So yeah, super excited. Tony, what are you building with today? I am going with an AMD build. So first off with the CPU, I chose the Ryzen 5 5600. As for the motherboard, this is the Asus RG Strix B550i, and it's an ITX motherboard because this case is the Lian Li Q58, and we have it all in black. For the graphics card, I chose the RTX 3060, also the same one as Christina. Power supply is a Lian Li SP750 750 watt 80 plus gold SFX power supply. SSD also should be the same one, um, 500 gigabytes. And this RAM kit, I think it's a slightly newer version of that one, but it is 32 gigabytes of 3200 megahertz DDR4. And for the cooler, I'm going with the stock cooler. She's going with the Intel stock cooler. But yeah, let's start building. Cool. Do you want to do the counter? Okay. All right, we are gonna start in three, two, one. <laughs> what the heck? That hella scared me too. Is that like a It was puffing? like a fly, like a bug. Do you planted that bug? I Wait, we should have had a clock to time this. No, I have nails. Wait, this also isn't even the right like screwdriver head. I'm trolling. <laughs> no. <laughs> Mine didn't have a heat sink. This screwdriver is gonna be the reason I lose. All right, we got some fans. All right, let's install the cooler, I guess. Where did I put that thing? Oh. I should have just moved it, hit it. Under That's the messed table. up. Dude, I've never installed one of these before. What am I looking at? I think you just push it into the. Are you serious? Yeah. That's sus. Oop. Okay, cool. Cooler has been installed. Since this was a speed build competition, I didn't read the manual and I did not realize that you can easily remove the panels on this case. So if you hear me complaining about how hard it is to build in this, just ignore that. I don't think I even have any case fans. Like it didn't come with any? Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah, before I forget. I was hoping you forget. Praying on my downfall. I was like, I thought you were gonna say anything. It's messed up. Before I forget. Where's my screwdriver? Unbelievable. <laughs> oh, look at this. I have a, from panel block. I hate you. That's not fair. Yes, I don't even have to look at the manual. Oh my. This is the most difficult small form factor case I've ever worked with. I've never wor really worked with a small form factor case. It's time to get serious. I pulled out the SATA connector. <gasps> I should have plugged this in before I installed. I'm literally trolling. I have a new respect for people who water cool small form factor builds, cause what the hell? Like actually Like custom how? water cooling? Yeah. And also fitting an AIO and like a fat card in one of these, like that'd be a lot of work too. This one actually came with the option to have or not have a window. So you chose Mac? <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> okay, I think I'm done. How am I supposed to plug in the CPU power cable? Turn this on and it blows up. 
Here's my finished build. I know it's looking a little questionable, but I'll clean it up. It booted, we got Windows 11 on here. So I'll clean it up a little bit and then you guys can enter to win my PC or Tony's PCs. All right, we finished with this PC build competition. Christina won um, and her PC actually turned on. Mine, on the other hand, I have to do some troubleshooting. The PC is not booting, so I'm gonna have to open this up and tinker with it a little bit. I'm also gonna add some extra fans in this build and it'll be ready for one of you guys to take home. And yes, I cleaned up the cable management and I added two RGB fans as exhaust to draw in some cool air and to get rid of that heat. Turns out the issue all came down to the PCIe 3 Raja cable that came included with the box, so I swapped it out temporarily with a PCIe 4 one that allowed me to get a display signal to hop into BIOS and I changed the settings in BIOS to PCIe Gen 3 so that the original riser cable can work. So when the giveaway winner receives this PC, it should work straight out of the box. If you want the chance to enter in either of our giveaways, click the link in the description section below. Check out the link in my description. <laughs> Check out the link in his description. <laughs> Yay. Cool, I think that's good.